Hello friends, Andy Kennedy here with Inner Self Lightworks covering the eighth of nine insights from the Celestine Prophecy. If you've missed the insights prior, one through seven, check out our YouTube and click on insights, um, that playlist, and you'll be able to watch the rest of them. The reason we're doing this series is because this is the foundation of our course, Manifesting with Synchronicity. And the insights are a big part of it. We include so much more. We include um, affirmations, which I call mirror words. Um, we include uh, new habits. There are worksheets to do every week. Um, so it's definitely more than just a book club. Um, but we go over a lot of the principles based in this book. And so Insight 8, um, Insights 8 and 9, um, are the last two in this book and they are definitely the most futuristic thinking, the most community thinking, the most um, forward progressive uh, insights of the book. The rest are kind of, you know, really working on yourself, which uh, these are as well, but really they are yourself as it plays to the macrocosm versus just the microcosm of yourself. Um, so the eighth insight, um, which is titled the interpersonal ethic, a new perspective on relationships. It's really about how we uplift one another. Um, and what I love about this is that, um, you know, we talk about the competition of energy in the fourth insight and dramas, control dramas in the sixth. Um, really how this book is laid out, how the insights are laid out is that the even numbers are really focused on, on that interpersonal way that we communicate with each other and we draw energy from each other. Um, and so thinking back to insight number one is, you know, everyone that we encounter has a message for us, right? And so, um, this is like that, that, you know, synchronicity and, and coincidence and messages piece, um, on steroids. So, um, again, we come back to that foundation in this chapter of that everyone has a message for us so that there are no chance encounters. And as I said in that first video, this was a foundation of mine before I took the rest of the insights you know, into account at all. Um, that was a foundation practice of mine. So, you know, I'd be at the airport and I'd be sitting in the, the waiting area, waiting to get on the airplane. And I'd kind of look around the room and the person who's my, my eyes would fall upon, you know, I don't know, it would feel like four out of five times would be the person that was sitting next to me, um, on the airplane. And so then I knew if that was the case, if I had two signifiers like that, you know, I'd see them first, they'd stand out for me somehow in the waiting area, and then they'd get on the airplane next to me and sit next to me. It was like, oh, shoot, I can't ignore this, right? That is um, the universe telling me that this person has a message for me. So every encounter has a message for us. Um, and, you know, in this, we're this sort of up level of that foundation is we're taught to watch for them a little bit better. So in the beginning, we're just watching for synchronicities. We're, we're telling the universe, yes, every time they happen. Um, and towards the end of this course, we're really working on how to generate those synchronicities um, and how to really continually build upon them. So um, what I love about this is that, you know, it's talking about, you know, focusing on the beauty in their face and their eyes and, um, focusing on, you know, all of the little things that might be signifiers. Perhaps they're wearing a t-shirt that, you know, is of a, a place that you were just mentioning to someone else, or perhaps they're, um, you know, part of their, their body. Um, of course I forget to turn that off. Part of their body is, is familiar to you in some way. You know, it looks like someone else. My husband and I always have this, um, this funny saying, um, when we travel anywhere else, so, you know, we live in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Um, I'm going to mute this phone too. When we, um, when we travel anywhere else, we're like, oh, that must be the Bellingham Craig or the Bellingham Brandon, right? Because it looks like the Brandon from Steamboat or Craig from Steamboat or whatever. And, but we're in Be Bellingham, right? So it's a, it's a doppelganger of them. So in which case that's always also a very big signifier for me that that person probably has a message for me, right? So, um, so that's kind of the concept one in insight eight, the interpersonal ethic that we talk about. Um, another one is forming conscious groups. So, um, I call these masterminds, um, Napoleon Hill and, um, you know, some of the greats, um, have talked about forming mastermind groups for a century. And in those mastermind groups, uh, you're really focused on the other person's um, goals and dreams and desires and intentions so that you can help them manifest that, right? And so 
in this conscious group, you're interacting from a more conscious, higher conscious level. You're communicating from that higher conscious level. Um, you, you're, you're one of the practices we learn in this insight is you, that you're not going to monopolize the conversation, right? You know those people when you get into a conversation that you're always like, oh my God, will they ever shut up? right? Because it's every time they get a chance, the conversation always comes back to them. Or you tell a little snippet of your story and they go, oh yeah, well that happened to me, right? And it always comes back to them. That is most definitely not a conscious way to conversate. So um, using group energy is also another way to uplift the group and uplift energy. A um, couple of more concepts in this group that I wanted to bring up. We definitely talk about um, relationships and love relationships and continuing on what we had talked about in the the, the second really and the fourth and the fifth uh, the fourth and the sixth the the, uh, the even number insights um, about relationships and about getting your energy from source versus you know getting your energy from each other and then that of course makes a tension and expectation and um, resentment within the relationship so we'll talk a little bit about that as well um, and one of the higher level concepts in this insight, in the eighth insight, is being comfortable um, around the other sex, even if there is um, some sexual tension there, even if there is a connection there, um, and not having to go to that place. So, um, you know, anytime that it comes up in a movie or, or um, any of my younger friends talk about, you know, their relationships in the sense that, oh, that all that person wants is, you know, um, my body or whatever, I think, yeah, that they're not in their higher self yet. They're not really feeling into that version of themselves that can detach from the third dimension and connect on a higher level um, and and just communicate from that heart-centered place um, and even uplift each other from that heart-centered place, from that agape place. And agape is a concept that we'll talk about a little bit in the future um, in the upcoming insights because even though the Celestine Prophecy has nine insights in them, there are 12 insights total. And I'm going to give you a little bonus um, in the weeks to come where we cover the 10th, 11th, and 12th insights. Those videos are going to be a little bit longer because it's a whole book instead of just one chapter dedicated to the insight. So that's exciting. That's coming down the pipe. Um, the last couple of things are, um, well, talking about codependency. So that's a big piece of this chapter as well. Um, and parenting, another big piece of this chapter as well. And those are things that we tease out a lot more in the class. Obviously, I don't have time to cover them in a, um, you know, eight or 10 minute video here, but, um, those are things that we tease out in the Manifesting with Synchronicity course. Um, and then really helping create positive networks for families, for parents, for children, um, in addition to, you know, those conscious groups and creating conscious groups. And again, that's, that is another preview um, and uh, sneak peek at the 10th and the 12th insights because they are even numbers. And so we are taking those concepts again to the next level a little bit um, as well, but um, really coming back to center with, and here, here's the summary for you, um, feeling energized and raising your vibration. So again, we continue to build on the seventh insight, energizing others. And how we do that is really teased out in this course, but focusing on their beauty, uh, listening with intention, being focused on the conversation and, and providing input without interrupting. Um, and then really being there to receive messages, to see the messages as they come in, um, to recognize when there is a synchronicity and how to make that conversation unfold, even when it's a stranger. Um, and then continuing to talk about control dramas as well. So that is the eighth insight. I love um, each of these, as I have said in every single video, they all build upon each other. They all give us a foundation for um, living in a higher conscious state and um, affecting those people around us in a higher conscious state as well. And thus creating a more conscious, loving, um, generating um, kindness and gratitude, uh, kind of global community, which is what we're all focusing on right right, right now. So um, continue to follow these insights. Uh, this has been a great series for me to do for you guys. I hope you're getting a lot out of it. Of course, please subscribe to our YouTube page so you get notifications when we post a new video. We're posting quite a few these days. We're trying to get um, quite a bit of content up for you uh, by the end of the year. So we're going to finish this series. Every week I do an All I Learned From where I cover somebody's um, either book or teachings who I've learned from along the way along the last 20 years. So it gives you a, a kind of a roadmap of things to, to dig into. 
Um, we're, we're trying to record an, an episode of Into the Woods every week or every other week where we do a meditation in the woods in the deep, the beautiful, um, luscious part of, even in winter, luscious part of Colorado wilderness. Um, and then we've also just launched our first uh, mini series, 21 Days of Affirmations, which is kind of a pluck out of the Manifesting with Synchronicity course as well. And that's just $21. So lots going on. Um, go to our website and sign up for our mailing list if you want to get all of that delivered to one place, to your inbox. I know people don't use email a lot anymore, but I really like it when somebody who I love and follow has all of their stuff delivered in one spot for me. And I can just go there instead of trying to find it on on YouTube or Facebook or um, their coaching page or the, the course platform that we have. So um, that will make it easier for you. But of course, you can also follow us on all of those platforms too. So thanks for watching and um, much light and one love. And here's to creating conscious relationships and conversations with those around you.